there that yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. We brought nothing in this world, and it is certain that we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise His holy name. We give God thanks in all things. One person said in life or in death, we will give Him praise. We are here today and as one would say to celebrate, but we mourn the death and celebrate the life that has passed of our Anne Marie Seeley. Anne Marie Seeley, a good friend of mine. To the families, the bereaved families, friends, and well wishes, it is sincere that comes from us our sincere condolence to all of you. We are here today just to encourage each other, to strengthen each other, knowing that uh, this is a pathway that we all will travel. We don't know what time, how, when, and what will take us out of this world, but we know that one day we too there will be a service for all of us. But I'm not worried about the service and I'm not worried about what will happen. In the meanwhile, you may be seated. I'm not worried about the service and what will happen. What I'm worried about is what I've learned. That death is not the end of everything. If someone believed inside here today that when I die, that's it. Indeed, when you die, your thoughts perish. But we've got a guideline that tells us that after death comes the judgment. And as Solomon would say, whatever you do will be brought back into judgment. So while you're yet living, and while everything is going good or bad for you, it is time to walk the right way, talk the right way, live the right way, so that when this time should appear, when this time should come, we don't have to worry ourselves, but we would be sheltered, safe, and secure in the arms of the Most High. So, Sadness will come. A little tear will come to the eye. You cannot stop your mind from thinking. And when I look, mm, mm, when I look at the, the young persons that are left behind, children, it pokes my heart a little bit. But we've got to remember that you've got to take care of your fellow men. Praise his holy name. You've got to take care of those that are around you. And they are left in our hands. They are left with us. We've got to encourage them. And this is the moment when we remember the past of a sister. But we, as the scripture would say, don't worry as those who have no hope. As the scripture writer said, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. The Lord bless you as we go into this part of the service. I now pass the moderating over to our evangelist Brooks and of course, 
they will share intertwinedly as we go through the service. We magnify the Lord. We honor the Lord. We glorify the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are alive, bless the Lord. And today, let everything that hath breath and we have a chance to make it in to the kingdom of God. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus, our soon coming King. And as we are here to celebrate the life of Anne-Marie Seeley, a very pleasant person, always wearing a smile. It doesn't matter where you see her, she's always wearing Smile. So I'm sure that she would leave a mark on your hearts today. I know you miss her, but guess what? Cry if you must, but life still continues. And we ought to recognize that we are not here forever, but our responsibility is to live for God, and indeed, He will take care of the rest. I'm going to invite you all to stand as we are going to do the opening hymn and it's in the program. I must have the Savior with me and at the end I'm going to ask our Pastor Campbell to pray. I must Stones and a time to gather stones together, 
a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What profit are he working in that wherein he labored? I have seen the trial which God had given to the Son of Man to be exercised in it. Last and final, he hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the work of work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. This is a portion of God's holy word. Thanks be to God. Amen. To everything, there is a season. Everything has its season. Program here, we have two tributes they will be coming from Merlin Powell slash Chantal Witte, and the second one will be coming from Sandra, a close friend. So you'll come in that order. So first we'll have Merlin Powell, followed by Sandra. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. here. I have met my Marie from my last 17 years. We used to work together as a first so that's where we met. And from that day, I've heard that to the people in the worship house. We talk to each other. We were always friends. My daughter here, she's her daughter, she was my first child. And I did perfect her when she came to me, and she wanted to read it. Very serious. So, on the day when I delivered, she came and visited me. And she said, all right, me never going name to be me. And she said, we must give her name, Yanni. I returned and said to her, I have a cousin that have a baby. A week before, and his name is Yanni. So she had to choose another name. So therefore, she went and gave her the name Shani. And from that day until now, that's the name on her birth certificate. And that's the name of her one on her by Shani Kurne Wiffingham. And she called me on the evening and talked to me about Shani. And she put Tianja and Kalje in my hand. And she tell me about them. Little did I know that that would be our last conversation. But God knows everything best. And we leave everything into his hands. And we, I challenge us as friends and family members not to leave the children out because they are young. And they are going to need guidance along the way. The road is rough and it's not easy. But with God, in the vessel, there's a lot he can do for us. I am her dressmaker and his husband, and as you know, I saw the last dress that she seen now. But God knows everything this. Mourn for me not today, for the ones I left behind. I want you to know what I had in mind. I thought of you before I died. I love you so much, I could have cried. He put out his hand for me to go. I had not time to let you know. More not for me today, no sorrow to take. However, love each other for my sake. Weep not love ones, but contend. Our lives, you know, are only length. The grave is but a bed. You see, prepare yourself to follow me. In love we live, in peace we die. You ask my life, but God decline. Whatever you do, just please be kind. He welcomed me home with open loving arms to my families and friends. Please do not worry about me because I'm home with my Savior. Like a rose in the middle of our garden, suddenly the soil hardened. Like a rainbow on a cloudy day, you brighten our life in every way. 
But let your rainbow, you beautify then left. But Marie, your sparkles will never forget. So, though we may cry, our love for you will never die. A blessing. Bless the Lord. Though we may cry, our love for you will never die. So, there we go again. A mark that is left. Sandra is not here, so I'm going to allow somebody. We have an open trumpet slot right now, so if you'd like to say something, you can come at this moment. This is Jim. Yes. So we are good, good friends. We eat out at one place. This is a church that she baptized in. When I hear that she said, Oh God, I couldn't carry it. I couldn't make it. I miss her very much. She was a friend to me. She's a sister to me. She was a mother to me. You know, no, I understand what she could do. She was the one that was supposed to do the, um, the, 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 the song. And she called and said, Sis, I cannot make it to sing, so you guys to sing for me. And believe you me, Saturday evening, then she talked until 10, 10 o'clock. And Sunday morning, she said, no, she said to me Saturday night, I will be coming to her aunt grave digging the Sunday morning. Because she didn't get to come to the other one funeral. I want to put her my clothes to go to my aunt grave digging. I just get the call. And my sister passed away. I miss her very much. But I know she'll have the, she'll live a very good life. Please don't listen to the voice because I'm a bit hoarse. You want to hear your <laughs> Some morning you'll find me touring the city.
you to be ignorant brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also we sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Amen. Child. That's Marie. 
Sometimes she will be tired and feeling sick, but if somebody calls and says, can you do this for me? That's Marie, she's on her way. You know, sometimes she will say, boy, auntie, the tired, the tired, the tired, but why do I have to go? And I'm like, no, you don't have to go, but Marie has to go because she believed in giving of herself and if she have two and you want one, she will give you the two. That's Marie. I love her very much. She has been a, just a, 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 a ray of sunshine is what my daughter calls her, my, my adult daughter. She's a ray of sunshine. I have three children and uh, some of them are close to Miss Marie's children's age. But when my youngest goes to visit that house, it's not for the children, it's for Miss Marie. You know, she was a friend. And I remember one time I said to my daughter, you can't talk to Miss Marie like that. She said, no, no, you don't understand this. This is between me and Miss Marie, you know? She connected with children. She loved everybody, but she especially loved children. So much so that wherever she worked in the US, she used to take care of children. Those people would never want to let her go. And if they let her go for a few months, they're calling back, begging her to come back again. That's Marie. She had a huge heart. She had a heart that just loved her condition. I mean, if you're in trouble, even if you're wrong, call Marie. You know, if you're down and you need somebody to pick you up, call Marie. Even when she is down, she's reaching out to pull you up. She has really left a big hole in my heart, in the hearts of my children, in everybody who knows her. She has left a big hole, but she's also left a big mark, a beautiful mark. And I'm very glad to say, Marie was my friend. She was all of Uno's friend too, but I know she was my friend. And I'm so honored today. And I just want to ask, as somebody mentioned before, that we will let the love that she has poured into us and the love that we feel in return, let it flow out onto her children. Yes. Let the water that she has poured to us be poured back into her children because hers was a life of loving and giving and joy and refreshing. She was a blessing and a beauty, and I know she will never be forgotten. God bless you, Miss Marie. Rest in peace, as I know you will, and we will be here for your children. God bless you. Thank the Lord. You know, if, if as I move the offering out of the way and turn to your program, we have a, a hymn there, O oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder, and exactly after the offering is collected, we will have our sister Clark to come forward and do the song of meditation, and followed by the homily that will be done by our dear Pastor Brooks. Oh Lord my God, when
this funeral so far is that Miss Seely rededicated her life to the Father. And that is what I love about when persons turn. As the, the, the Bible tells us that angel rejoices when one sinner repented. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Now this song is something that laid on my heart. And I know that it is a message for some of us that need to get our lives in order because we cannot tell that no when that comes and we we cannot carry what we have with us so we know that all of us here we have a house right let me see the hands all of us here we have a house come on man this is no this is no dead church come on we are we are we are preaching to the dead we are churching the living not the dead right so we have a house right some of us we have a car right and some of us we have clothes and shoes right amen praise his name but some of us our lives are not set right with god amen amen, amen. praise his holy name some folks would rather have
Christians if you didn't have some men in church? Not sure about you. Yes. Things would be much more crazier yes. if God hasn't touched some of our hearts. Yes. So you think things crazy yet? No. If you didn't have someone more of these people on the outside, then you would have trouble. But yes. praise be to God for those that have decided to make Jesus their choice. Oh, praise his name. Uh, let, me, let me see how quick I, I, I tell you, I, I sat there and I, I stood there and, and many things come through my mind. And, and those things that I, I wanted to say, I can't say them because I don't, I, I've been putting them in my head. I want to say them, but they're not coming like how I wanted to come. Because the situation sanctioned something else. Let me greet my bishop that is sitting in our midst today. He is just sitting there, he don't want to say anything. He's just looking, observing. And I, of course, the presence of God comes first because in all things, God, God comes first. And you know, our pastor that is right here today, uh, those that work with us on this mission, and uh, the bereaved family and friends that happens to be caught in a situation like this, it is, tough. I have a little boy that when I do anything and <laughs> he thinks it's not so good, he look at me and says, Daddy, that tough. And sometimes you're caught with some things that is really hard to deal with. And you've got to buckle up. You weren't prepared. And then I look at Tears to anyone's eyes, but I'm gonna. It, it, it reached me so much that I, you know, when I think about it, I said, What if I have uh, I've gotten two children and I, I thought about it saying, What if I pass and leave them at that early age? Oh my God. It, 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 That's tough. I, I don't want to get in the nitty gritty, but you know, if you should leave, have you ever gone to bed, those of you that have children and said, at this young stage, while they're young, yet tender, if I should leave, what would happen? Would my neighbors be very good to take care of them? If I, if I, if I should tell you, I, I, in a minute, I'd say, I, I, I did not have the loving arms of some people to help me when I was young. And I know that it affected me getting old. If it wasn't for Jesus, who had taught me how to do this, I could be one of the rank and file dangerous boy. Because my parents was alive, but they weren't there. I grew with strangers, so I know not to have the hug of a mother and uh, the, the blessing of a father. Hmm. Take care of the people, yeah? Uh, same way, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be all fluent English. You all understand. Take care of the people, then. And I'm just drawn to look at this to say, what if it happens? How would I feel? Would I trust my sister to take care of my son the way I would? Would I trust my my grandparent? You know, so grandparent was spoiled in there, right? Yes. Yeah. But would they do it the way I I would? When you lose that one that is dear to you. You've lost your finger, you've lost a hand, you've lost your confidant, you, you, you lost the person that even when you do wrong, they would slap you about, but they would still be there to help you. I tell you, I, I, when I get here, everything's spoiled because everything I want to say just disappear and everything that new is coming. And sometimes I don't even know what is going to come. But praise God, when you lost the one that is close to you, how do you deal with it? So this is why now, those that are alive, I am seeing an elephant in front of me, when an elephant, uh, 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 the, the young, uh, uh, is in any trouble, all 
all the family members come together to take care of that one. We need to just look out for these yes. young ones and don't leave them out. We've got priors, we've got all of that, but you know prior is good, but your help is good also. Yes. Alright? So we pray and we act. God's blessing be on them. Praise his holy name. Let me say this, that we've got to remember that we're only here for a while. We're only here for a while. And um, I've been torn between scriptures, but I'm going to use this one today. If you turn with me to St. Luke. Twelve. Get yourself ready because the time is coming when you don't know what is going to happen next. So if you even fix it here on earth, you think you can fix it. You may not be able to fix it, but you can fix it with the Lord. And the verse 13 of uh, Luke 12 said, And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother, that he divide his inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisted not of the abundance of things which he possesseth. And he gave a story. In this parable he said, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will put down my barn and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods, and I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So, he, so is he that lays up treasures for himself and is not rich towards God. It's well known, everybody knows this. But I just want to repeat it again in your ears. We move to have houses, land, cars, wife, children, and everything that we can possess in this life. Not a bad thing. I did not tell you, when you leave here, don't go away and say the pastor said they must be worthless. No, I did not say that. Work for what you want. Do your best. Achieve all you can. In heaven is the heights. There is no limit to where you can go. And I remember saying this to my child the other day. I said, I want you to do your best in school. And I want you to obey all the rules you can and do the right thing. But son, if there is nothing else you can do for me, don't forget the God who brought me up through these years. Because you can have everything in this world, be successful, and be called the best name. But if you don't have Jesus, you've got nothing. Let me tell you that. I can tell you where I'm coming from in the slum. I can tell you. But one thing I was grateful about is the day when I met the Lord. It has not been easy to choose. It has not been easy to stay on the right path. But because he led me so many years, I've learned, I've made my mistakes, I've made my wrong steps, I've made my wrong decisions. But he allows me, because I remember him like we remember the story of Joseph coming from a righteous family and brought down Saul in Egypt. But he carried what he thought, what, what was taught to him to Egypt. That when he was tempted while being in Egypt, he could look at the situation and said, I 
this man, the story that Jesus told, he was so much in himself. If I see someone we enter into me, no, we pay. I will know when I just when I when I eat and have a body. Come out there, see somebody outside. You know, pay them no man. Well, the stories that I heard coming from the mouths that I've listened to said that Sister Seely was one that was very helpful. And some would say she, she wears a smile. I've known her for years. And she was always busy. I don't know how she'd do it, but she was always going. I have this to do, I've got that to do. And I'm glad that I, I heard the pastor said she reconciled. Because most of all, if you live your life and you don't know Jesus, you don't know anything. You've got no hope. But my one one, some writer said, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but only lean on Jesus' name. We got to recognize that we are just passing through. And I remember when I didn't have these gray beards. So then we are not going to trim them and keep them low. And I remember when, when I pass downtown and see some people, I'm saying, am I that old? <laughs> Sir, I know your face a long time. And I remember when your face was pretty younger. But guess what happened? We are getting what? Bishop, I remember when you used to preach here and you didn't have any gray hair. Now you don't want to come here anymore. You want to stay in the seat and say, you young, go ahead and do it. We are just passing through. Do all the good that you can now. Because the time is going to come when you can't do it anymore. The time is going to come when your eyes can't see good anymore. What is that? Ecclesiastes 12. Huh? I may not be able to recite it like others, so let me read it. Remember now, thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days. Uh, let me find it. I'll do better reading it. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 12. Remember now, thy creator, in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. When you get old, and can't do what you used to do anymore. Man who used to run up and down, and said they must have enough girls and have them in a bungle. Can't run in a bungle anymore. Not true, sure. more. Not true. Sure. What do you want them then? Oh, they got another door. They were like, hey, you know this, when they were church, start keeping on the rich, this part church empty. But the man, they want to drink them liquor and smoke and do them thing. But may I tell you, if you're in the rich of my voice, it's the same message I'm giving to you. Whether you run or you stand up, you're going to Your eyes. 
So when you say, all these will I give thee, Jesus said, hold, 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 hold. <laughs> you get them to give with what I make them. You can't give them to me. Come on, somebody. So I'm saying to you, in the reach of my voice, don't forget God in all you do. It doesn't matter what you have, share it. If you don't have as much to share, do as what Jesus did and said to John's disciple when they went to him and they said, John is asking, do, are you the one or do we look for another? Jesus said, go back and tell them what you see happening here. The blinded eyes are being opened. And the deaf is hearing. The lame is walking. The dead has returned to life. And the poor, because sometimes we think people too poor, but Jesus said, the poor have the word being preached to them. Praise is holy name. So if you think, if I think I don't have anything to give you, I can give you a word. And when I give you a word, if you walk in the word, you can walk with dignity. When I give you the word, you can walk with assurance because the word Young people that are on the outside, remember the Creator in the days of thy youth, before all the evil come. I'm yes, telling you something. Yeah. And I think COVID are the only one that come. I'm closing. COVID is not the only one coming. Jesus said, in the last days, perilous time. The other day, uh, uh, this island, we see a volcano coming out of the water and it caused tidal waves to many countries, don't it? You're going to see things you have never seen before. But if you are in God, you can stand up wherever you are and say, only son. My blessing be on you today. May you adhere to the word. Jesus did not only come showing miracles. He came and he gave the word. He is the living word. Take the word. Live by the word. Walk with God. And I believe that all will be well. I am a living example. You know, the truth is, you see when I stop to talk, to the people, may I tell people, say, me, I want to live in the example. And I won't be afraid to share it. To tell you that my father was a raster man. And a guy just smoke. And cause one was lying. So sometimes don't kill the people them. Don't kill the people them because they come from a yard. Good things can come out of the <laughs> Trust him and allow him to lead in your lives. God bless you. I hope. I don't want to pray for somebody. Can I pray for somebody? Praise his holy name. I know there's going to be a prayer for my but I just want to pray for somebody. They normally they don't want to do this in funeral service. Then if we pray, if we preach to the living, must I not ask if somebody wants to be saved? 
She was a loyal friend, and her, her huge host of friends would tell, tell you that no matter what, you could always count on her to be there for you when you need her. I don't think she even knows how to say no. Everywhere she went, she looked for people to help and was loved by the people she en encountered. No matter what, no matter how tired or sick, tired or sick she was, if anyone called on her to do something, even, even if she was crawled on, even if she has to crawl on her belly, she still would push to, to be there for them, from cooking to caring to hospital visits to just about in just any possibility where she can help. A more authentic, general caring friend and a more committed mother is a very hard to find. Time will not permit to permit me to begin telling her commitment and of the big hearts that she had for people. That such a vibrant, a beautiful ray of sunshine could leave us, still have us in shock and when a generous second she passed, peacefully went home to be with the Lord. She leaves behind her children, Tia and John Fallon, her mother, father, grandmother, her brothers, Dwight, Mary Paul, sisters, Trisha, Ladia, Faith, so many dear and wonderful friends to live here. And that holds a quality. She lives to leave a huge hole in all of her hearts, but we know she's in the arms of her father. May her soul rest in peace. Amen. I, I must say this. I applaud you, Tiandra Seely. She is strong. And indeed, she knows that she, her mother would have wanted her to be strong. And her love will continue to live on in you and just continue to be strong and serve praise his holy name. And I know she wants you to serve the Messiah and walk in her footsteps. Bless the Lord. And God will indeed be faithful to you. The songwriter says, I love you, Lord.
greatest mercy. Thou who art kind, the most compassionate. I'm sure it was you who saw the woman, the widow, burying her son. with compassion. You would not allow her to go on crying. So you touch whatever he was laying on and brought him back to life. It shows how great the heart. And it shows that there is none that could be moved with compassion like you. A God so mighty, a God so powerful, who is a lion, but is a lamb. Today we come today, mighty God, bringing before you the family of our past, deceased, Siri. She is already gone, but they are left. And I can't imagine, mighty God, the amount of things that will go through their minds Especially for the daughter and the son who is used to coming home to mom. I say this because I already know your compassion and I already know what you've seen and I know that you've seen the heart of them both and those that are around, the pain they do feel. It is now then, Father, that we ask for your touch. It is now then that we ask for you to walk in, Prince Emmanuel. It is now then that we ask the God of all ages to come by and to bring that, the part that the human cannot give. The comfort of the mind. The comfort in the spirit. The comfort of not having but having the God that is able to keep I pray now, God, that your presence will rest upon the family, far and near. But Father, I pray also that you will bring, bring peace and harmony and stay, may your presence stay with the young ones, mighty God. May your presence be with us all. But this time, mighty God, in this place and at this hour, I pray that there will be that they have never felt before a comfort that we can't give but it will live with them may your peace rest remain and abide upon all of us but may your love continue to be in their hearts protect them mighty God from the hands of the adversary be with them oh God I pray that the provision will be made uh, and I know that you will speak to our heart I know that you will speak to different people mighty God to be there for them with them in the time when they have needs mighty God you are the one that look ahead and see and knows what they have need of you will send one of us you will speak to one of us one of us will remember that they are there. Son of Father, I place them in your hands. I pray that the love that comes from you, that passes all understanding, the love that caused you to send your only begotten Son into the world, so that the world through him might be saved, rest, remain, and abide upon the family from now and in forevermore. Those that have not yet chose you, those that are not yet walking with you, I pray that they will see it in their minds and heart and life to invite you and I acknowledge you and want you to stay with them forever. Bless, sanctify, and keep as we leave them in your almighty hands. And those things that I did not pray for or didn't touch, you are the God that provides all our needs according to your riches and glory. May they be added to them. We ask these mercies in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and may we have peace. Right now we're going to be going out um, and at this time we're going to be singing the hymn When peace like a river attendeth 
my way and I'm gonna ask the family first to take the march. I know that everybody is on the outside, but you uh, we, followed, we are gonna be going down and followed by the family members will be going through that door. Alright? So the song sing when peach When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair When the saints of earth shall gather over on the other shore 
And the world is all up yonder, I'll be there Judge eternal, suffer us not at our last hour for any pains of death to fall from thee, for as much as it pleased the Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased sister. We therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, as she is to ashes, dust to dust. Yeah, 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stiffness, stiffness for your side. Come to me, look at Good man, pull the, pull the promise. Pull. Pull the promise. Pull. 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 Pull.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in my sight, who is my strength and my redeemer. Oh, I'm not going to go. 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 I'm not going to go.